There's only one thing you can get into shape without breaking a sweat, and that's your eyebrows. But let's get something straight before we get started. What's a shapeless brow? Now, we're talking messy edges, no arch, mismatched, a little ungroomed. Listen, we all got a friend like that, but don't worry, we got you, girl. I mean, her, right? You don't need to be an expert to get pro-like precision. Presto, precisely my brow. It's our brow-defining pencil that creates believable hair-like strokes in just the flick of a wrist. Now, since you've got shapeless brows, let's start with brow mapping, a way to find your start, arch, and end at each brow. Sounds hard, but it's not. It's simple. Simply measure from the dimple of the nose up to that beginning portion of the brow. That's where your brow should start. It's gonna create a slimming effect on your nose. Next, measure from the outer portion of the nose across the center of the iris, and that's gonna to point to where your brow's naturally the highest. Say hello to that arch. Next, you're gonna measure from the outer portion of the nose across the outer corner of the eye, and that's where you'll find your end, a place that will bring balance and proportion to your face. Now, begin at the start of your brow. It's where you made the first mark. Use the pencil to make short, hair-like strokes in the direction your hair grows all the way to the arch. Next, go from your arch to your end. Use those short, hair-like strokes to add definition to your brow. You may have to change directions a few times. Don't worry, it's normal. When it comes to makeup, even brow makeup, it is all about blending. That's why we attach to spoolie. You want to blend in the same direction that you made the stroke so you don't lose any of that definition you just created. Okay, so if ungroomed is what you see when you look in the mirror, guess what? Presto! Brow Zings has your name all over it. You want to start with brow mapping. Dip the retractable brush into the wax and find your start arch, and in. Now, that's gonna be your basic structure. Now it's time to play Connect the Marks. Of course, it's easy. Using the wax and starting at the base of your brow, you're gonna make a fluid line from the first mark at the start to the second mark at the arch, and then from the arch to the third mark all the way at the end. Then go back and do the same thing only on the top of the brow. Now you've outlined your basic brow shape. If you see a few stray hairs that fall above or below those lines, that's your cue to take out the tweezers. Those can go, but don't go crazy, okay? Now it's time to fill those shapeless brows. Take a bit more of wax and fill in the rest of the brow using short pressing motions. This is gonna help push the wax through the brow hair and right onto the skin. Your goal, make the color even throughout the brow. Next, flip the brush around and use that rounded brush to blend any wax away in areas that may look a little heavy. Now, there may be areas of the brow that you wanna add a bit more filling, but don't worry, we got you covered. Dip the rounded brush into the powder and use it to add a little oomph or color into those places. The powder will also give your brow this nice matte finish and set all of the brow color. Eyebrows, they come in all shapes and sizes but shapeless, it doesn't have to be one of them. 